When Ava Chris Tyson, known for her work on the Mr. Beast channel, transitioned and changed her pronouns to she, her, Mr. Beast stood by her side and continued to create videos with her. This now meant that the biggest YouTube channel in the world, Mr. Beast, featured a trans creator and had trans representation. And this was absolutely incredible until Ava Tyson was exposed for allegedly talking to minors and SA, which resulted in her being removed from the Mr. Beast channel and caused damage to the LGBTQ plus community. But first, let me give you a little bit of a background on who Ava is. So Ava Chris Tyson was a staple on the Mr. Beast channel since the very beginning. A lot of the friends slash characters on the Mr. Beast channel come and go, but Ava's one of the few that has been there since the very beginning. So Ava is Mr. Beast's childhood friend, and according to Mr. Beast himself, Ava was actually the first subscriber to their channel, which now has over 315 million subscribers, and is the most subscribed to your channel on YouTube. And would y'all be shocked to know that I actually like the Mr. Beast videos? I watch them all. I know it's not like the sort of content that's made necessarily for me, and you probably wouldn't expect me to watch them, but I don't know, there's something interesting about watching like the biggest YouTuber in the world and seeing what they're up to. I find his videos pretty entertaining. And Ava was actually my favourite character on the Mr. Beast show. I sound 45 saying that. But Ava was my personal favourite person on Mr. Beast alongside Carl. I just thought they were like so hilarious, so real. And Ava was kind of known for this as according to the Mr. Beast fan wiki. Ava's kind of childish because she loves cartoons. She's the most vulgar of the group and is arguably the most useful person during survival challenges. She was the only member of the Mr. Beast like crew, friendship group, whatever you want to say, to have a kid. As she and her ex-wife have a son, Packer. And she was the only person in this, again, I don't know what to call them, friendship group that was transgender. As in 2023, Ava transitioned and changed her name to Ava Chris Tyson and began using she, her pronouns. And she's also recently shared that she's been on hormones for over a year, which she said made her so happy. I mean, today you you showed up fully I did. presenting I did. as a woman. I did, because I am a woman. Oh, shit! Ah, she you've heard. Ne <laughs> you've never said that before, right? I've never said that publicly, no. But I've I've been fully like confident in that decision for over a year now. And she actually said that she's felt like a woman for years, and that she would constantly daydream about being a woman. And sometimes she would actually spend all day in bed so that she could continue daydreaming about being a woman. And when Ava transitioned, Mr. B stayed by her side and continued filming videos with her. And when asked by transphobes on the internet, transphobes, transphobic people, whatever the word is, he always defended her. One of these is just so awful. But someone basically asked. Mr. Beast what it was like having Ava as a nightmare, which is incredibly transphobic. And Mr. Beast actually replied, Ava isn't a nightmare, she's my fucking friend. And Ava has said that she feels so much happier and loves being able to look in the mirror and see a woman. The saying, I've always known she was inside of me and she's finally making her way into the world. And this was incredible as the biggest YouTube channel in the world had trans representation. Absolutely fantastic. Now in my research for this video, I of course came across a lot of transphobic hate towards Ava. So I just want to take a moment to explain like what transitioning and being transgender is so that people can kind of understand understand a little bit more why people do it and maybe have a little bit more empathy and not be transphobic. I will not be tolerating any transphobia in my comments. We are only referring to Ava as Ava. Will not tolerate using her old pronoun that she does not go by anymore. You are on an LGBT channel. Surprise, I'm gay if you didn't know. So I will not tolerate any transphobia in the slightest. So a short explanation of what being transgender is, according to transequity.org, is that people whose gender identity is different from the gender they thought to be at birth. It also says that people can realize they're transgender at any age. Some people trace it back to their earliest memories and that they just kind of knew, while others may need more time to realize that they are transgender. Some people spend years feeling like they don't fit in and not really understanding why, or try to avoid thinking about and talking about their gender due to shame, fear, or confusion. But trying to repress these feelings does not help and can actually be really damaging to someone's mental and emotional health, which is why telling someone that they are wrong or being transphobic to someone can be incredibly damaging and really, really awful. So for many transgender people, recognizing who they are and deciding to start their gender transition can take a lot of reflection. And of course, transgender people risk social stigma, discrimination, harassment, and many fear that they will not be accepted by their loved ones. Which is so incredibly sad. I can't even imagine feeling like I was born as the wrong gender, coming to terms with that, wanting to change my gender, and then having so many people hate me for it and tell me I'm wrong. That just sounds absolutely awful. So I think it was absolutely incredible that the Mr. Beast channel featured a trans creator. That was so, so cool. And according to the transequality.org, as transgender people are more visible in the media and in community life, across the globe. More transgender people are able to name and understand their own experiences and may feel more comfortable sharing these experiences with others. And when Ava Chris Tyson was featured on the Mr. Beast channel, this was incredible for the LGBTQ community. There is always demand for more LGBTQ plus representation, more LGBTQ plus media, and now the biggest YouTube channel in the world had a trans woman front and center. It was showing the world that being trans is okay, which it is, and I'm sure it was inspiring thousands of people across the globe 
that it was okay to be trans and probably helped a lot of people come to terms with their own feel. After seeing one of their favorite YouTube channels feature a trans creator. Ava was of course, and I hate that it's of course, but of course, receiving hate about being trans, so you know, transphobia, with people saying that Ava's transition broke up her family. And Ava actually replied to this claim on Twitter saying, I know my child's life arguably more than most parents are capable of because of my unique privileges, but we both know you'll make up whatever lie you can vomit up to validate your transphobia that is already based on nonsense and misogyny anyway. And I don't doubt that Ava went through absolute hell. I'm sure that that was one of many DMs that she would receive regularly, which is really unfortunate and undeserved. So I really commend her strength to transition and to be her true self in front of literally the whole world. It was really admirable. However, this all came crumbling down and I no longer like Ava, obviously. And Mr. Beast and Ava, honestly, not so much Mr. Beast, more Ava, has ended up doing a lot of damage to the LGBTQ plus community. As allegations of grooming and SA came to light for Ava Chris Tyson. When I saw these, I was so incredibly disappointed. Like, cue the sound of Tyra Banks being like, we were all rooting for you. Rooting for you, we were all rooting for you, how dare you? That was me. I was like so amazed and happy that there was a trans creator on the Mr. Beast channel. And then I had to end up being this like horrible human. I was like, why? I was rooting for you. You were not meant to be a bad person. Because I wanted nothing but success for the Mr. Beast channel and Ava after they'd done so much for the trans community. But after these allegations, I obviously no longer believe that. This all began with messages between Ava and a minor were leaked on X, which formerly Twitter. I'm just gonna say Twitter, okay, throughout this video. I'm gonna say Twitter. Y'all know I mean X. So these messages were between Ava, who was 20, and Lava, who was 13 at the time. Lava was actually a moderator of Ava's Discord channel and would constantly be talking to and interacting with Ava, which is just incredibly weird. Why does a 20 year old want to interact with a 13 year old? It's so incredibly odd. I'm 25, granted a little bit older than 20, but talking to like a 13 year old is my nightmare. In my eyes, those are still children. Like I want nothing to do with them, wish them well. And it's also just incredibly inappropriate for a grown person to be talking to kids. It's just weird. It's all round a weird yuck situation. And it gets worse because not only was Ava talking to a child, which I already find weird, but they were making inappropriate jokes to them. She was talking inappropriately to Lava and making sexual jokes. Many have even called this grooming. Now when this all leaked on Twitter, Lava actually came forward to defend Ava, saying that they were just edgy jokes and maintained that nothing happened between the two. However, once the rest of the messages were leaked and Lava actually read through them themselves, they came forward to say, I'd like to make a statement about the discord. This was five or six years ago and I thought I had a good memory of the situation, but I was wrong. After reading the chat logs, this stuff was inappropriate and wrong. I spoke based on my memory of the situation and I still do not remember these conversations, but they definitely happened. These conversations should not have happened at the age I was at the time. I strongly condemn them. I still believe I'm not a grooming victim, but these conversations should not have happened with me and, the, and any other minor on this discord. I was a minor in this situation and not the adult influencer who shouldn't have allowed this to happen. I did not see that this was wrong at the time. And I completely agree with what Lava is saying. Oftentimes things happen to kids or teenagers that they don't realize was wrong until they grow up and are an adult themselves. This is why we are always saying we need to protect kids, we need to look out for kids because they don't know any better. They don't know that something bad is happening to them. It's only when they grow up and they're an adult, they look back and are like, huh. That was weird, that wasn't okay. And Lava is actually now around the age that Ava was when Ava was talking to Lava. And Lava has said like, that was a bit weird. I wouldn't be talking to a 13 year old now, let alone what Ava was saying. It's just all around odd. Especially making like sexual jokes. It's just, why are you talking to a 13 year old? Why is this an ongoing issue with YouTubers? Why are they always talking to kids? It's so weird. I don't know why this just continues to happen where like scandal after scandal, someone's caught talking to a literal child, but like, don't. It's so odd, you have no reason to. I'm 25. I would never want to talk to a child. I would much rather talk to my other 25 year old friends. But this isn't the only accusation that Ava is facing. As another chat moderator, Nathan, has come forward with similar claims of inappropriate messages with a minor. Now, I'm not going to go into detail with any of these cases of what's happened. I'll give you the gist of what you need to know. You'll leave this video knowing what's happened, but I'm not going to go into full on, full on detail. There are plenty of other videos that will explain that. But back in 2017, Ava posted to Twitter asking to help up a server for a video game to celebrate Mr. Beast hitting 10 million subscribers. Nathan loved Mr. Beast and was excited, so reached out and was paid $100 to make the server. Mind you, Nathan was 15 at the time. Again, we are talking with a child, which I just do not understand why that is required. So the Discord was called Dank Memes and was a private server with only around 20 people on it, including Mr. Beast. And Nathan himself says, I'm not sure why Ava decided to invite me, but it felt like she was trying to shock me with all the Mr. Beast members here and no one else is. Looking back, she was trying to woo me and be like, look, look, this is everyone you look up to. And in this Discord, there were incredibly inappropriate chats to be having with a 15 year old in the chat. And there were lots of convos about hentai, hentai, however you 
say it. And about corn, and I don't mean corn that you eat. This is like the YouTube safe version of the word. I'm sure you know what I mean. And Nathan himself has said that Nathan and Lava would refer to Ava as dad or daddy in the chat. Which again, if there are grown adults in this chat, they should be calling out that this behavior is not okay. Telling these kids to stop and even removing them from the chat. Like, you should just know that it is not an appropriate place for kids to be. But it gets weirder because Nathan said that they would have hours long calls with Ava where they would play video games together and in these calls Ava would apparently complain about her marriage, complain about working on Mr. Beast videos and was constantly seen smoking weed. Which is just weird. Why is she spending her time talking to minors, complaining to minors about her life? Like go get some friends your own age. And Nathan actually agrees with my opinion on this, telling Rolling Stone that he was so starstruck at the time that he bragged to all of his friends about it. But looking back now, Nathan is the same age as Ava was back then and Nathan can't imagine spending hours talking to a 15 year old, let alone multiple about their problems. Nathan's right. The whole situation was weird and it's kind of clear that Ava was using their imbalance in power and the fact that these kids all looked up to the Mr. Beast channel against them. And this still isn't all as not long after Jess, who was formerly Ava's assistant, came forward to talk about how she felt she was SA'd by Ava. Jess said that in 2022, Ava reached out to her on Twitter to talk about Ava's transition and to ask her questions. As at the time, Jess had been sharing a lot of posts that were like pre-transition, post-transition, all things like that. And Jess said, I was a trans girl who had just come out of the closet publicly. To be reached out to by a celebrity that was in the closet and for them to also tell me that they were transitioning, that created an emotional connection between us, which made it hard to focus on the power dynamic. How famous she was directly correlated to how much I liked her. And we can see this because Jess actually asked Ava if Mr. Beast was hiring and Ava said that she'd keep her in mind. Once again, we are seeing this weird power dynamic with Ava being played out, where she's using the power dynamic in her favor. Ava eventually did give Jess a job and Jess was Ava's assistant. And I'm not gonna get too into it. If you wanna know the details, you can go read the Rolling Stone article. I'll link it down below. But essentially, Jess claims that she was essayed by Ava. And I say claimed, I mean, I always believe the victims, right? But I just have to say claimed because I am not trying to be sued. But let's just say that my opinion is I always believe the victims. Now, I have given you guys a very G-rated, maybe not G, very like PG-rated version of everything that has gone on. And with all the allegations I've told you about, there are some more details that are really like kind of graphic and I just didn't feel comfortable talking about. But trust me, Ava is not a good person. I'm sure you already believe that from what I've told you. So Ava's since stepped down slash been fired from the Mr. Beast channel as a result of these accusations and has gone to Twitter saying, I'd like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it offended or hurt anyone. It was not my intent and seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. And there was a more lengthy statement on Twitter saying, I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, past actions, and to those who feel betrayed by how I acted online. To lump those two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad, edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I've learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. I don't want these accusations to impact hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beach, which is why I have stepped away. I want to add, I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations, Lava, has vocally supported that they are false. I don't know. I personally, as you guys know, think it is weird to talk to kids. I just think that is all around odd, and I think that is a little bit more, well, a little, a lot more serious than just like wrong, edgy jokes, as Ava has said. I don't know. I think they're trying to downplay the situation a lot. It's not good. It's not a good situation. You're not a good person. And it's extremely disappointing because even like to throw Lava in and be like, no, Lava said it was fine. Lava's actually since come forward to say like, hey, looking back, it was very weird. Mr. Beast also, of course, commented on the situation saying, over the last few days, I've become aware of serious allegation against Ava Tyson's behavior online and I'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I've been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not concern or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. So Ava has been let go from the Mr. Beast company, which I think is good. I think it had to happen. The show is made, or show, I sound so old. The channel is mainly made for kids. So to have someone that has a history of inappropriately talking to kids, I mean, it just can't happen. Hey, and Mr. Beast is such a huge brand. It probably wasn't even Mr. Beast himself's decision. I'm sure it was like a lawyer or someone in PR, their choice to like get her out of here. So how is this damaging the LGBT community? It's not because we no longer have a trans woman on the biggest YouTube channel in the world. Although that of course does suck. It was fabulous having trans representation. But I think the Mr. Beast team 100% made the right choice. Ava's actions were disgusting, despicable, just so, so wrong. And her apology makes me think that she 
doesn't actually really see how wrong these actions are, which is even worse. But the reason that this is damaging to the LGBTQ plus community is because that Ava's actions have led to a lot of hate and a lot of transphobia towards the community. When researching for this video, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos about the topic and the amount of people that refused to use Ava's name and were instead referring to her by her dead name and the amount of people that refused to use her correct pronoun and would only refer to her by her dead name. I actually could not find a single video from someone that was using her appropriate pronouns. Everyone insisted on using her dead name and her old pronouns, which is disgusting. But what's even worse is that one person used the argument of her actions, or they didn't say her, but I'm not going to use the wrong pronouns. Her actions were so bad that they don't deserve to be called their correct pronoun, which is just like an insane statement. And this is what I mean that it is damaging the trans community. Something I'm constantly saying in my personal life is like two things can be true at the same time. And I think that applies perfectly to this situation. Two things can be true two things can be true at the same time. For example, Ava is a bad person. This is true. But Ava deserves to be called her preferred pronouns. This is also true. And also, these sort of statements of like refusing to call someone their pronouns, referring to them by their dead name, saying that like they no longer deserve to be called their pronouns, Ava herself is very unlikely to see those. I don't think that's going to affect her at all. I highly doubt that she's sitting at home watching like video essays about herself. But you know who it is going to do damage to? Any of the viewers who are transgender. They could leave those videos feeling awful about themselves and feel completely invalidated. And you know what? Those transgender people do not have access to the same amount of resources as Ava because Ava is a millionaire. She is living a very different life to most of us so she is she's fine. She has access to so many resources whereas a lot of other transgender people who are actually watching these videos do not and it could do some real serious damage to them. Another reason why it's so incredibly disappointing to see Ava's actions is because according to the National Institute of Health there is a big stereotype that trans people are villains or sexual predators. This of course is not true and is only a stereotype but Ava's actions are perpetuating this stereotype to an inconceivably large audience. Her actions of talking to underage children or minors plays into that direct stereotype that I'm seeing brought up all the time on X. And it's just so incredibly disappointing. Transgender people are four times more likely to experience violence than cisgender people purely for existing. Every day trans people are harassed, discriminated again just for being their true self. And it's so incredibly disappointing to see a trans woman who was arguably one of the most known trans women women? Woman? I can't think of the... I don't know what the correct tense is, but you know, they were like one of the most known in the world. Turn out to be such a bad apple, to be such a bad human, and inadvertently create a space for a lot of trans hate. Which is why Ava Tyson and Mr. Beast are damaging the LGBT community. Whether they want to or not, it is what's happened, and it is extremely, extremely disappointing. Ava, of course, does not reflect all trans people. She is a bad apple. She is the bad apple of the bunch, and it's just incredibly disappointing that she was the one who had this huge platform. I'm gonna call that video there today, you guys. Be sure to let me know what you think down below and let me know if you see anything else that you want me to discuss in a YouTube video as I post videos every single week, sometimes twice a week. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure that you will also enjoy my short form content as well. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, sometimes Facebook. I don't know. I'm everywhere. If you look up Annalise Wood, I should come up. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.